Hey everyone, I'm Jason, and today we're playing Super Fancy Pants Adventure. Uh, Super Fancy Pants Adventure is part of the Fancy Pants series. Uh, Two Left Thumbs has an amazing documentary about the history of that series. I'll put a link to that documentary in the description below. Uh, I support Two Left Thumbs on Patreon. Uh, they have lots of fascinating things on their channel. Uh, which I encourage you to check out. But today we're going to be playing the races within Super Fancy Pants Adventure, which is a part of the game I haven't seen explored elsewhere. But first, I'm just going to show you where in the overworld uh, the little arcade console we're going to be jumping into is located. So, as you can see, we are at the King's Bathtub Tower, which is found fairly early in the game. The tower has several floors. On floor one, you have the Ice Cream Salesman, which sells power-ups. On floor two, you have the bar, which you can't really interact with in any way, uh, but it looks cool. On floor three, you have the arcade games, which we're going to be playing, or at least uh, the, the one with the races on it. Four has uh, the secretary, which you interact with to advance the plot. Uh, we're not going to be messing around with any of that today. And then uh, there is one extra level you can get to by parkouring your way up. Uh, can be a bit challenging. There we go. And you see there is the drain, so that is the top of the bathtub tower. Uh, but you can customize Fancy Pants Man with different pants and hats that you collect throughout the game. Uh, I'm going to start off with the one that I have on now, with the rainbow pants and the bubble hat. Uh, also, before we start the races, I'm going to turn on the music. There we go. Okay. So yeah, there's that little countdown before it actually lets you start. So as you can see, the bubbles form a little trail showing where you've been. So, 30 seconds rounding up, not bad. It's fun when you hit that little crevice at the right angle and speed. We're going to try it again. We'll probably end up pretty much in the same spot, but these are quick enough. You can uh, show them off a second time. Yeah, it's just a fun little part of the game that is easy to miss. Didn't make it in the box that time. Uh, fun little flip there. Okay. So, made it in the box the first time, but didn't hit the crevice very well. Second time hit the crevice well, but didn't make the box. So, 31 seconds. Let's try it again. So yeah, this map doesn't really have anything you can die to. There we go. There you go. Twenty-nine seconds that time, okay. Yeah, 
So as you can see, it records your best time, and you can try beating your best time. But I've shaved off quite a few seconds, so I don't think there's m much of a chance I'm going to beat any of those anytime soon. Okay, 13 seconds. So yeah, there's that little bit of time between when the level ends and uh, when it actually ends the your time in the level. So you can have some fun backtracking with that. So with race three, There's more things to die to. On, on level two, the main uh, hazard is falling off the map. So, uh, 28 seconds there. Have fun with the ink boarding with your, your pin there. Race four. Okay, 30 seconds. Pretty good time. And race number five. Through the gap, off the spring, past the spikes, avoiding the moving spikes. Thirty six seconds on that one. Whoops. Okay. We'll head back up to the third floor. But as you can see, you can change the, the hats. Uh, this one's just a basic ball cap. With it kind of zoomed in like this, you can actually see the, the character model fairly well. I also have the different Christmas hats. pink headband, rainbow like top hat, lampshade, just lots of fun stuff. And then lots of the different pants as well. music note pants and the like but yeah I'll show off a bit of some of the, the custom levels as well which are mainly different level elements just kind of thrown together uh, a bit haphazardly that you can explore But yeah, these are all 
different game elements that show up at different points in the game. In and out of the boxes there. There you go. So yeah, in the second Fancy Pants game, there's uh, Snail Ball Golf, which is quite a fun little kind of running set of mini games throughout uh, the, the levels. But the developer, Brad Bourne, is working on releasing the original Fancy Pants Flash games as part of a package available uh, to buy on Steam. Uh, that game is not ready to go as of yet, but uh, you can wishlist it on Steam now if you are so interested. And yeah, those original games are really good. Um, so if any of this uh, kind of platforming, um, side-scrolling adventure piques your interest, uh, definitely worth checking out. takes you back to the beginning of the, the level here. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I've been Jason. Uh, stay tuned to see uh, what videos I have in store next, and until next time, have a good day.